Hello commanders and welcome in part 12 of the Korean Kingdom and today we are going to witness the counter attack of Finland as he is going to launch a full scale attack on us to defend his ally Germany but before that we will display here the attack of the Luftwaffe the German Air Force on our Navy I will remind you guys that I started this naval battle with uh, four level four destroyers with their naval officer but Germany and Finland they fiercely attacked me and defended their coastal cities with a task force Finnish task force and German air force composed of strikers security fighters and attack helicopters so as I said guys in this episode we will see a lot of action as Finland is going to dare and come to our homeland cities but in order to see what is going to happen you need to like this video subscribe to our youtube channel and keep watching till the end and don't miss one minute from this video because I'm going to provide a lot of tips and tricks on how we will try to manage this battle so this is Dear Congo is uh, trying to take the Sina Strait with one motorized infantry. Uh, the good thing here, I kept two stacks of strikers patrolling this area, so I'm going to take it down before it takes that uh, region. And my naval officer now is on the retreat. Believe me, guys, retreat is not always a bad choice. It's not always a bad choice because today we lost uh, a fight, tomorrow we will win the battle. Today we lost a fight. Tomorrow we will win the battle. So today's retreat is to keep my naval officer alive. Uh, as soon as my stack of destroyers is going to arrive, I will assemble them and strike again and again until those coastal cities, they will fall. The next city of Valencia of Germany has been bombarded so heavily. He have a naval base level 3 there, so it was a priority to destroy that city. And here the campaign in the Middle East, especially in the Saudi Arabia lands, is going successfully and it's going to be taken so soon. But the bad thing here, Finland kept following me from place to place. I wanted to take my naval officer here and hide him. Uh, in north of the United Kingdom, but he kept following me. Luckily now I opened the game and they saw him striking me So I need to take down my naval officer here uh, Through the English Channel and of course send my stack of destroyers to the north It is now going through the Gibraltar Strait And here Finland have a Security Council membership because you know when it is on aggressive mode It will always keep following the, uh, the enemy when you activate the aggressive mode on the, uh, the fire control system so uh, whenever uh, the um, whenever your stack is going to detect the enemy stack is going to follow it strike by strike and it is going to launch some strikes so this is how Finland has kept following me and here I have five destroyers uh, in securing our homeland cities but I need every single unit to the front especially now that North Korea here have a stack of uh, elite submarines so I really am not that anxious to defend our homeland cities so here I'm going to send all of my ships to the north and uh, of course I'm going to uh, provide uh, a lot of support to the north because I didn't really expect that uh, Finland is going to defend his uh, allies so fiercely like this uh, he have uh, uh, decent stacks because he have uh, a range of 75 100% he have level 4 or level 5 destroyers so it's going to be a little bit tough to take him down but uh, nothing is impossible to us guys, I remind you that it is manageable and we can do it successfully. There is a naval radar here. Morocco is still alive until the stage of the game. I'm impressed, that's good. So I stopped here on my ship, if it is um, an enemy ship there, camping there, waiting for me to pass. I stopped my ships, if they automatically engage, so yes, it is an enemy ship. If they don't automatically engage, it's Moroccan ships. So look here, Finland until this second, until this moment, until this stage of the game, he is still following my naval officer. He is so persistent, he doesn't want to leave my naval officer alone, like I was roaming the map from side to side and he keeps following me. But the good thing here that the task force of Finland lost three destroyers. That's a good one. That's a good one. I uh, assume that that stack is exhausted now because I also have the aggressive uh, mode. So whenever he is going to be closer to me, I will launch a strike on him. So yeah, uh, of course I need to do the aggressive mode to launch a strike and later take it off. Because if I keep the aggressive mode on my ships, they will be stacked there. They will be stationed until the finish 
uh, navy is going to be down but that is not good i need to uh, perform the strategy of the hit and run i don't want to stay in the in his range so this is why i am striking him and going away saudi arabia is almost done it's only a matter of few uh, provinces that dear congo infantry is dead and now finland has launched the land assault he have level 4 main battle tanks level 1 sams and level 1 motorized infantry so this is why the gunships they are very important but the bad thing here that, that finland started the assault before i uh, level up my gunships i was thinking about making some gunships and later attack helicopters and uh, level them up but here the intensity of the game is preventing me from leveling up my armies and my air force because you know here i am going to be obliged to use my uh, gunships because you know that uh, north korean uh, air superiority fighters and my level 4 uh, level 3 strike fighters they will not be able to approach those um, units as long as they are equipped with sams so their only weakness is going to be helicopters so i'm going to try to uh, use my gunships on them i know that it's not going to deal a lot of damage because uh, it's strong against soft but we'll see oh what is this look here guys finland is in the indian sea how he made it so far like this from where he sneaked i can't believe this like literally finland he is so close to our homeland cities and i was sending my ships he took two of my destroyers there in the south china sea oh wow from where he passed 100 percent he didn't pass through the mediterranean sea because my stack has patrolled it sea by sea shore by shore but 100 percent here uh, finland he sent his destroyers all over africa from uh, the south african borders from the south african seas so he doesn't go through the mediterranean sea this is the only explanation here because either than that he will not be able to successfully pass there this is another finnish stack i am sending my strikers there and here if um, finland appeared with the stack of sands so yeah if i didn't see that my strikers they are going to be doomed because they are passing right over the stack which have sands Two max level motorized infantry, three level four main battle tanks, and uh, one level one SAM. So yeah, his composition is a little bit tricky here. We need artillery to be able to take him down, and it's going to take him a, a few hits. My stack of destroyers, it is close from the target. As soon as it is in my range, I will bombard it heavily there. The finished stack, it is so painful. It kept following me everywhere like literally everywhere it is all the time it's giving me nightmares so here what i am going to do this uh, surviving little destroyer here i'm going to be able to stay out of his range because i know that he is sending his stack and he is not online now because if he is online he will go and attack that uh, one destroyer so what i'm gonna do i'm going to stay away from his range and keep attacking him and going back attacking him and going back wherever he is so close to our homeland cities north korea he will start using his uh, elite submarines elite submarines they are going to deal a lot of damage to his destroyers so here in this series we will see for the first time in Meliodas gaming series we will see the elite submarines in action like literally i am going to provide you a very authentic and efficient tutorial how to use elite submarines properly because the best is using them. Nublook is a very professional player and he will command his uh, uh, elite submarines in this battle. So I will give you a tutorial about its per uh, perks and you know that elite subs, they are stealth. So I will show you how to use them properly because they are very deadly and they are very strong when they are properly used. But now I'm gonna stop this episode. We are at the end of it and meet you in the next episode where the action is going to be heated. See you guys and bye bye.